Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a level 3 uh, gem light armor in a 200-point uh, room in space. I bought the level 3 because I got the level 4, I think, beam saber for it in my uh, latest gotcha run. And I uh, decided that I would probably, uh, you know, I'd need at least a level 3 to fit into 200 rooms to do anything uh, substantial with that. Naturally, you know, it's going to be limited to level 3 damage, same as this machine gun I'm using, but that's still better than I had. So, it moves pretty fast in space. I like that. I'm not great with it in space. Melee is not as bad in space as you might think, but it still requires some, you know, spatial uh, relationships. There's a little bit of auto-track to it, I think, that is very handy. But... Unless you can get in close, unless uh, an enemy team is not well grouped, which they're pretty well grouped here, it looks like the best option is to just, you know, all gang up on somebody with either machine guns or bazookas. Usually machine guns in space are much better. At least in these low-level rooms, in my experience. Easier to uh, all focus on someone and make sure you get them stunned. Let's see, trying to... I'm not sure what I was trying to do, but I didn't manage it. I think I was trying to go up top and see what I could do, but then I realized there was an enemy back here that the rest of the team was focusing on, but was kind of really doing a lot of damage to one guy, so it struck me as a good idea to join in. As you can see, we've captured Skure for once. There's a rare sight. Um, got that guy, did not do enough damage to qualify for an assist, but I helped. So now, just looking for an enemy target, enemy airstrike incoming. And not hitting me, at least, so that's a start. Okay, so, yeah, I'm on this side of the fence. I was thinking about trying to capture this point, but somebody spawned in, so I decided it was a good time to get back out, because I did not want to get surrounded and killed. So, pulled back to be with the team, found a, uh, found a couple of targets. I'm not close enough to sh uh, shoot any of them. Sometimes you can hit things, it seems, it's like just very slightly outside your range, but that's more likely with a charged sniper rifle by far than a uh, machine gun. But, as it is, if I can find a good target, I'm taking it. Uh, a lot of things on this side of the wall now, they're coordinated, I need to find where I can do the most damage. Um, somebody must have a defense part, because I swear that's the same mobile suit, but one does 116 and one 114. They could be different levels, but... I seem to be everyone's special friend at the moment, so I am not going to uh, probably survive too much longer if I'm not careful. I did get away at least, but there's still enemies nearby, and I think they are focusing on me. So, only thing I can really do is go help focus on other enemies so that the rest of the team is free to kill whoever's after me. I'm not close enough yet. There's a person to my right who was much closer. I finally noticed. And... And now I'm trying to do what I actually do, which oh, caught a, a slash in the front, I think, or a tackle, and then got close enough to the entire enemy team. It was not a wise idea to continue with melee. Um, one of the most important things you can know about this, and I think this is advice from anyone I've ever seen who does fighting games too, is don't commit to a bad idea. Like, don't go, okay, I'm going to land a melee attack. Like, try to land a melee attack if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't take, find something else. If it's, if the melee attack is not the right thing to be doing. So, I, you know, occasionally I actually remember that, sometimes I don't, it happens. Enemy at the base. I decide to go try and help whoever is trying to defuse the bomb, because it looks like there's at least one, maybe two mobile suits over there, so... They got the one enemy mobile suit, and I am chasing after the other one, because I think they will probably have a chance to defuse. I'm operating as if they will. I think that's a Zaku 1. I'm not sure, but it's taking enough damage that I'm happy to be shooting it. Um, missed. I might have hit with the downswing, but the upswing was just the best angle. Now, there's that guy in there, and I went the wrong way. I'm not sure why I thought he was on top, even though I could see him in the middle, but oh well. The bomb has been defused, so that's good. 
Um, there's two people here, and I think at least one of them is underneath where they actually belong. No, I'm going to go down there anyway, because what else would I do? But he just used his tackle, so I can get a shot in. Or two. Unfortunately, I'm dead, because uh, I got caught a couple of hits from the guy, and the uh, Zaku... The, the Zaku and I kept bouncing off of each other's melee, I think, so... I should have either backed off to give the Zaku space or got, circled around behind where I was less likely to uh, interfere with its attacks. It was kind of foolish of me to just, again, just commit to a bad idea. And in this case, it hurt not only me, but another team member. So, you know, food for thought in the Twilight Zone, etc. Looks like the enemy has the scary this time. I'm not doing... I'm not being evasive enough. I'm just trying to stay on them and fire more, but... They have type advantage on me, so it's really not wise. Did catch my swings, though, so... And... And got the assist, which is good enough. And I am at a severe disadvantage. Yeah, that, that guy probably is one shot away from killing me. And he's trying to get his melee on, too. And I am so glad I missed the friendly. Let's see if I can kill the Zaku one before I am killed. Not with my... Uh, not with my... Uh, nope. Not with the Zaku one shooting me in the face, and not with my uh, machine gun recharging. It was probably the wisest move, just not from that angle. If I'd gone a little higher or lower, or, you know, tackled my way in, I might have done better. Maybe. But, yeah, so, we've still got a substantial lead. It's, it's a solid lead. It's five kills or so. We call it four after pilot fees in a... Uh, 200 point room. Okay, now it's five again. But yeah, it's it's doing we're doing pretty well. Looking for a good I was going to go in and help that guy, but I don't want to be the closest thing to three enemies, so just hanging back. Okay, now it's down to two enemies. There's still an enemy Skure. Looks like uh, Unit 1, whoever that is, decided to attack Skure, and now it's time to move in to help Unit 1. He's got three people on him. And I'm probably not going to save his life, but I can at least hopefully do some damage and get some of them off of him. Yeah, I've, I've managed to pick off one of them, but unfortunately, now the other guy is dead and there's four of them on me. I am just so dead. Yep, totally dead, immediately dead. So the, uh, the uh, round's just about over. I think we're going to win. I've made a few bad moves, but mostly it's doing okay. Yeah, 10 seconds left. I might respawn. I don't remember if I do, but it's barely worth it. I've got about 5 seconds of operational time and, you know, less than that because I have to drop in like that. So, yeah, I'm not accomplishing anything, but we made it. So, yeah, good round. And, yeah, the gym light armor works pretty well in space. So, you know, if you're in a low-cost room, give it a try. And that's going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. Be back tomorrow with more. Until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!